Hi, English Nomad here. In this episode I'm going to be installing a new fuel tank in the Land Cruiser. Um, one of the main reasons I've decided to do this is the original factory tank has a 135 litre capacity. Um, that gives me a range at the moment of around um, just over 700 kilometres depending on the conditions I'm driving in and how heavy I want to be with my right foot. That is generally regarded to be a, an acceptable range for a vehicle like this but when you get into um, overland travel that isn't enough um, so what I've decided to do is to increase the capacity of the fuel tank by swapping it for a bigger tank. Um, there are many products on the market and the one that I've opted for is this ARB Frontier tank. It's 180 litres which is an increase of 45 litres over the factory um, tank. Um, it's made from a, a, a roto moulded polypropylene um, so it's, uh, it's very lightweight um, in comparison to its competition. Um, most of the competitors products on the market are steel and uh, a lot heavier and that was one of the primary reasons I selected this over say a Brown and Davis or a Long Ranger which are both steel tanks and another thing that this um, that really made a big difference was the cost um, this tank was around $400 cheaper than the nearest competitor uh, which is a significant saving and when you look at the um, the promotional videos ARB have put out for these tanks it's actually really impressive they, uh, they drove um, all kinds of vehicles over the tank to test its strength um, big trucks and um, a tractor and all kinds of things in the end they drove a tank over it and that sort of deformed it a little bit but it popped back into shape so I was really really impressed with the uh, with what I perceived to be the durability of this product so um, it comes with all of the um, attachments already in place so it's a direct replacement it fits in exactly the same place as the original tank and there's only a couple of very minor modifications I need to do to fit this tank so uh, it should be a relatively straightforward and quick installation um, so uh, so yeah I'll uh, what I'll do is I'll start removing the factory tank once I get the factory tank off uh, I need to remove some of the ancillary items to install on this tank and then once all the parts have been installed on this tank it's just a straightforward installation connect it all up and that should be it so what I'll do is I'll, I'll do the removal um, and then I'll come back and have a chat while we uh, install the uh, ancillary items and then uh, I'll do the installation and at the very end of the video I'll give you some feedback about how easy it was to install and my overall impressions of the product so uh, stick around and um, uh, please enjoy the, the installation video I'm about to do and um, speak to you again very soon okay so you can see I've got the original fuel tank out um, you can see the size difference that one's visibly larger um, than this one now all I have to do is remove the fuel sender there and remove these pipes here and fit all those to the new tank and then once that's done um, I should be quite close to being able to fit the new tank in so uh, I'll get into that now the uh, the fuel sender this float as it swings up when the fuels in the tank the higher the 
uh, float sits in the tank obviously the signal that goes to the uh, fuel gauge in the cab is reflective of what's in the tank now this being a deeper tank I need to swap this arm here and transfer the float onto the new arm so I'll do that now I also need to um, I need to drill out these holes to fit the, uh, the new setup there so that's the holes drilled out I can uh, refit the gasket now right, so I need to uh, swap the float arm now the tank comes supplied with two arms it comes with uh, two very similar looking arms now reading the instructions one is for my tank and one is for a different model of, ta of vehicles tank so this one is two and a half millimeters in diameter so that one can go over there. I want the one that's 2.2 millimeters yeah and that one's 2.2 millimeters so this is the one that goes on this tank so what I have to do is I have to very carefully not without breaking anything is get this off so I think the first thing to do is get the float off so that's the uh, the new float arm attached with the float reattached and now I can uh, fit that into the tank here comes with uh, new screws supply it's pretty hard trying to stay in, in the light in good light when you're filming these videos just trying to figure out the uh, orientation of this oh, there you go That's it. yeah the holes uh, mustn't be uh, must be drilled in a way it can only go in one orientation so you can't accidentally put it on back to front Meow. My cat's being very vocal. Yeah, for some reason that's cross threaded. I'm, gonna just, I'm just gonna get a tap and run a tap for that. never risk uh, putting a screw in a hole that's uh, that looks like it might cross thread because it's just not worth the risk so I'm just gonna make sure the threads are nice and clean yeah I can feel that those threads were a little bit, for some reason, were a little bit not cut great. So now when I put the screw in, it should be okay. Try that again.
put this one back on for the cable. It's good to have the right tools to do the job and sometimes you need tools you didn't think you'd need but that uh, that screw there would have uh, would have more than likely cross threaded had I tried to tighten that whole up so again really not worth the risk so uh, take off the final few hoses rollover protection valve not that I ever plan on rolling the vehicle but there you go it come, comes with one and I need to just secure that shortly once I've got all these bits and bobs done and then I can uh, refit it or fit the new tank. Hi, English Nomad back again. Um, I've completed the installation of the fuel tank and it went in very easily. I didn't shoot that portion of the installation simply because I was under the car fiddling about. Didn't think it would make for great footage uh, being filmed from a tripod. So uh, I'll just describe how it went in. I I refitted the, uh, the the straps that came supplied with the new tank. I sat the new tank in the straps, and then using my trolley jack, I just lifted it up, attached the uh, the two bolts that hold it all in place, and replumbed it in. It was very very easy. It was a reverse of taking the old one out. I connected up the uh, fuel sender. Um, electrical plug and uh, that was that um, <clears throat> all up it took me three hours from starting to completing the installation and that's including fiddling about getting the old fuel out of the old tank or should I say the fuel out of the old tank um, so how would I rate the installation well in terms of ease of installation uh, I'm going to give it five out of five it's very very easy to install with basic tools and a little basic mechanical knowledge anyone can tackle this job um, ARB I think they, they quote two hours labor to fit this 
which I think is around $180 um, but please correct me if I'm wrong um, but for me I, I like to do these types of jobs myself uh, not just because I'm saving money but because it makes you more familiar with your own vehicle if you do the jobs on it yourself you know where everything is you know you know how to problem solve because you've worked on the vehicle you understand how everything works so it does help you to become more familiar with your vehicle if you do these jobs yourself and that's my philosophy when it comes to doing a lot of work on the vehicle myself um, how would I rate the um, tank in terms of quality I'm going to give it four out of five and the only reason it lost a mark was because I had to uh, I had to get me um, tap out and tap one of the threads that holds the uh, fuel sender fuel sender into the tank for some reason there was something in those threads and I really did not want to run the screw in there in case I cross threaded it and damaged the screw um, so I had to get my tap out and run the tap down into that thread to clear it it must have been a bit of swarf or something from the original machining um, but apart from that the quality is really really good um, the tank looks really well made really well finished um, and I'm very very happy with it um, so to summarize I'm gonna say that I'm very very satisfied with this tank I've took the vehicle to the um, to the fuel station and I filled it up uh, the fuel sender is reading full so when I went I had around just under a quarter of a tank in um, because I had 20 liters in a jerry can and I had the fuel that was in the old fuel tank so I think that would have been roughly about a quarter of a tank um, and then I went to the fuel station filled it up so it's right at the very brim now no signs of any leaking so that's the purpose of filling it up and um, <clears throat> and the fuel sender went straight up to full so I'm satisfied that everything's working there's no leaks and um, and a fairly straightforward simple installation so um, what do you think about that guys um, please uh, share this video um, please um, uh, subscribe to the channel and if you do subscribe please click the bell icon so you get the uh, notifications when I upload new videos and um, as always uh, like this video um, the YouTube algorithm um, is works off how many likes you get how many shares you get and that helps me to build the channel so please if you've enjoyed this just give me a thumbs up um, and as always please comment below um, until next time Mike signing off see you later guys